Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the various letter and color designations of the ISO and polyol cylinders in different parts of the world. In this video, we'll use the U.S. designations of A for ISO and B for polyol. Okay, let's get started. First, always remember to wear protective eyewear and gloves while operating the gun. Please refer to the MSDS for the proper and safe handling of materials, including the use of protective equipment like safety glasses, protective gloves, and respirator protection where needed. With your protective gear in place, you're ready to begin the slug startup procedures. The first step is check the chemical cylinders. Start by checking the level gauge on both the ISO or A and polyol or B cylinders to ensure sufficient chemical supply. If the chemical level is close to 5%, we recommend changing chemical cylinders before going further. Draining tanks below 5% will lead to nitrogen in the chemical lines, which can cause problems with dispensing equipment and could result in poor end product. Now, check the temperature gauge on the filter assembly. Keep in mind that 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius is the minimum operating temperature. Please refer to the process setup acknowledgement for the specific operating parameters for your foaming process. Next, confirm there is sufficient nitrogen supply. This is a good time to review the ways nitrogen is supplied. Single bottles, six packs, 12 packs, micro bulk tanks, and bulk tanks. To check the supply, turn on the nitrogen cylinder. Open the valve slowly, but ensure that it is fully open. Then, check the following three parameters. First is the nitrogen reserve gauge. Sufficient nitrogen capacity is necessary for production. The minimum nitrogen requirement is 500 PSI, so change nitrogen tanks when below 500 PSI. Second, once sufficient nitrogen supply is confirmed, check for leaks. Leaks will lead to unnecessary waste of nitrogen and cause more frequent changeouts. Third, check the regulator pressures. The set point is 240 to 245 PSI. Do not exceed these pressure levels. Remember that the regulators are set during initial setup and adjustments rarely, if ever, need to be made. The next step is to slowly open the nitrogen and chemical ball valves at both cylinders. Now, turn the timer and heat box on. Connect the air hose to the air supply and turn the air supply on. Now you need to clean out the lubricant from the slug block. Then clean the slug block threads and the rod face with DK817. Next, grease the slug cylinder. Frequently greasing the slug cylinder will assist in longevity of operation. Now attach the adapter, mix tube and collar. Then open all four ball valves at the dispensing head and push the slide safety valve forward to the on position. At this point, it is important to remember that the equipment is ready to dispense chemical and precautions should be taken to avoid an accidental discharge. The slug unit is almost ready for production and the startup is nearly complete. Before production, it is important to perform a series of quality control steps. These steps are described in greater detail in a separate foam supplies video. Once the documented QC procedures are finished and the slug unit is mixing chemical properly, it is ready to dispense for production. Laminated startup procedures should be present in all designated mixing areas for reference. Please contact the FSI Technical Service Department if you are in need of additional or replacement copies. At the end of production, the slug unit must be properly shut down. Here's a quick review of the procedures. First, close all four ball valves at the dispensing head. Then pull the slide safety valve to the off or back position. Now, check the mix tube for chemical buildup. If a 3 8 inch rod cannot slide easily into the mix tube, you must clean it or replace it. With the air supply off, remove the mix tube collar, mix tube, and adapter. 
Now clean the slug block and rod face with DK817. Wipe off any residue and lubricate and pack the slug block with petroleum jelly or a lithium-based grease. Then grease the slug cylinder. Next, turn the timer and heat box off. Close the chemical and nitrogen ball valves on the chemical cylinders and finally, turn the nitrogen supply off. The slug is now properly and safely shut down. Laminated shutdown procedures should also be present in all designated mixing areas for reference. Please contact the FSI Technical Service Department if you are in need of additional or replacement copies.